I value my family, my friends, my existence very highly. But at a certain point when you lose most of that, it's really more of a struggle for existence than a life of any kind of satisfaction or enjoyment. You'd like to have the option. I was a college English teacher for over 20 years. I guess around 2015, due to the increasingly severe pain levels and other degeneration, I had to stop working, went on disability leave. And then when it was clear that nothing was going to be improving, uh, went into a sort of combination of disability and retirement. Kind of. Got a uh, beautiful wife, three wonderful daughters, three very wonderful grandchildren. And I had some wonderful travels and great friends. All of which, yes, tends to sort of have to fall away when you're dealing with ever increasing levels of pain and degeneration and your life starts to just become significantly less possible because of that imprisonment. It sort of ends up being sort of a little bubble of existence you end up in. Of course, I see family and some friends, all la, la, but you really don't feel connected in the way that you did before. It's, uh, sort of a disappearing act. You just end up stuck in this black hole of the chronic pain prison, having experienced the chronic pain and being aware of the evolution of the medically assisted dying legislation. I thought, yeah, well, it's possible that by sometime in the near future, I might actually be able to get a evaluation. Well, first thing I did was talk to my GP. So initially said, yes, I would be willing to put through a request for an evaluation for you. But before he did that, he would like me to talk to my specialist. So I did talk to all three specialists over the next three or four months. All of which, frankly, just said, no, I'm not wanting to engage in that in any way. But at some point, I think they need to see things from the perspective of those who are not perfectly healthy. And so, yeah, uh, I really felt like the doctors, as much as I understood their position, didn't really see the yeah, just the reality of what it is to live with the pain that I'm living with day in and day out, other degeneration and problems. And eventually it was just after many months of waiting and then working with the local health authority, I was able to get a made request that I like, highly value <laughs> the option of being able to say, yeah, no, I mean, I could go on for another six months, I could go on for another year, maybe. But, you know, the last year or two years have been more than enough of a struggle. There's really only so much struggle one really wants to have to deal with. At a certain point, you just get very tired.